Alpha to base. Um, we lost the fugitoid. You what? Search the entire sector. Find that fugitoid! Telekinesis. When I was rudely interrupted by General Black. Just because he's the head of the Federation military in this sector, he thinks he can call any time he wants. You see, the good general wanted me to build my teleportal device, a device capable of transporting beings from planet to planet. I invented the teleportal as a way to promote peace, but General Blank had other ideas. He wanted to use it as a weapon for death and destruction. And that is why, even though he was funding my work, apparently the good general had been constantly spying on me and was well aware of my transference into this robot body. He was overjoyed. You see, robots have no rights. The general could do anything he liked with me now. The teleportal I wouldn't give him when I was human. I can't believe, with all the Federation technology at our disposal, we can't find one blasted fugitoid! General Blank, there's a disturbance in the sewers. Wait, we've got them, sir. Sector 8. General Blank to all units. Cordon off Sector 8. Destroy the four Terrapin creatures, but the fugitoid must be unharmed. Repeat, the robot must be unharmed. If you'll forgive my asking, sir, what is so important about this teleportal device? It's useful transportation, but... It's much more than that. It holds the key to the balance of power in our galaxy, if not the universe. As a weapon, the teleportal is unparalleled. It could be used to secretly transport our newest nuclear fusion bomb into the middle of enemy spacecraft. Into the center of unsuspecting enemy cities. Even to the center of an enemy planet. I could bring our enemies to their knees and raise the Federation flag across the entire galaxy. But our enemies, if they knew about this technology, they'd stop at nothing to get it. Exactly. The teleportal must be ours. The fugitoid must be captured. I thought I gave the order that the Fugitoid should not be harmed! They're not here, sir. They must have evacuated the vehicle before it exploded. Find them, soldier. Find them. Deploy all units. Destroy anyone or anything that gets in the way. Hunt down that Fugitoid and bring it to me. A lifetime. First things first, my friend. My superiors are very interested in the teleportal. Tell me everything you know about this fugitoid. Everything. General Blank, all squads are on full alert, sir. Viz images of the alien life forms in the Fugitoid have been posted all over the city. We'll find them. We had better destroy the four aliens for all I care. Turn their shells into serving trays. But bring me that Fugitoid! Yes, sir. Speak. Still no sign of the Fugitoid, Commander Mozar. But we'll find him. However, I'm afraid that the teleportal is worth much more than what you've paid me. Your greed disgusts me. However, you will get whatever monies you wish. The Triceraton Republic shall have the teleportal. It shall give us great victories. I must have that fugitoid. General, sir! 
The Future Toid and the Offworlders have been sighted. Well, finally. Have all units in that sector move in. Commander Mozar, they've been located. On my order! Fugitoid, destroy the rest! To victory! General, we are under attack by Triceratons! Repeat! We are under attack by Triceratons! Triceratons? On a Federation planet? They've gone too far. Take them all out! Yes, sir! We're... Uh, we're trying, sir! General! The Triceratons are escaping with the Fugitoid! If the Triceratons get their hands on the teleportal, it... it'll be the end of everything. Scramble the troops! Full pursuit! We have to get that Fugitoid back! Ready, my commando squad! I'm leading this one personally. Mozart to base! We're being followed. Destroy them! Affirmative, Commander! Stinking Triceratons! I want them obliterated! All units, full attack! The Federation shall fall! We shall hatch our brood in the ruins of their cities! We have the future toy secured inside. Excellent. All troops fall back and prepare for dust off. That Triceraton ship must not be allowed to leave the planet. Planetary defense. Ready tractor beams. Commander, the Federation ships are powering up tractor beams. Activate the ion burn, but that will use up all of our fuel. It is the only way! Do it! Ah, Professor Honeycutt. You honor us with your esteemed presence. Oh, why, thank you. I... Wait, how do you know who I am? We learned your identity from an old friend of yours, General Blank. We know you hold the secret of the ultimate weapon inside that robot brain of yours, and the Triceraton Republic will have it, one way or another. Ensign, I want this scout ship inventoried and inspected for damage when we land. Triceraton homeworld! Glorious, is it not? Come. The High Council awaits. I can offer you protection from your Federation pursuers. Plus, Full rights as a citizen of the Triceraton Republic. You need no longer be a fugitive robot. That's very kind of you, Prime Leader Zanramon. But I cannot in good conscience build a device that could potentially be used for such destructive purposes. You will be crushed into submission! I mean... <clears throat> my friend, the Triceratons only seek stability, not conquest. Your teleporter will be a weapon of peace, not war. I only wish I could believe that. Please excuse us, Prime Leader, but we found something on the scout ship. This had better be good, Ensign. Put it on screen. We discovered these stowaways in the hold and... The turtles? Here? How? You know these creatures? Please, don't harm them. As you wish, 
keep the creatures alive, Ensign. For now. Let's skip the diplomacy, shall we? You have one orbital cycle to begin work on your teleportal. If you refuse, your friends will be executed. <laughs> Professor Honeycutt, your time is up. Now watch as the first of your friends is executed before your very eyes. You could have saved them. Come. Guards! To pick up your event program at any of the arena's sales kiosks. At only 15 bucks, it's a steal. Such a pity. It looks as if your friends aren't going to make it. Of course, if you were to agree to build the teleportal device for me, I could stop the match. Set your friends free. I've already told you, I won't do it. I can't. <clears throat> well then, let's watch as your four friends are torn to pieces in the arena. And no, you could have saved them. As the boys would say. <laughs> My friends seem to have broken your statue, Prime Leader. So sorry. I want those four off-worlders destroyed! Destroyed! Do you hear me? No, wait. I have an even better idea. Something very cruel. See, once we Triceratons value truth and honor above all things. But now, we have a dictatorship that craves victory at any price. Corruption and greed have robbed us of all our noble warrior heritage. I spoke out thus too often and too loudly against our honorable prime leader. General Blank. Our scouts searched 142 sectors before we even found a trace of the Triceraton homeworlds. But finally, we have them sighted. Good. We leave at once! If the Triceratons get the Fugitoid to build the teleportal device, those horned monsters will use it to destroy us. We have to get that Fugitoid back, or die trying. Would everyone please rise for our glorious Prime Leader Zanramon and the Triceraton Anthem! Commander, bring the Fugitoid here. I think we would be better able to persuade him to build us his teleportal device if he has to witness the demise of his friends firsthand. As you wish, Prime Leader. I am proud to lead the Triceraton Republic, and I am also proud to give you this day of games! Ah, Professor Honeycutt, just in time to enjoy the spectacle. <gasps> this is barbaric! Tonight's special event shall be all gladiators against the four Terrapin Offworlders! A fight to the death! No! Yes, unless you construct a teleportal device for me. No? Then... Let the games begin! We will no longer die to amuse the Prime Leader! His time is at an end! What? Guards! Seize them! This is your last chance. Build me the teleportal device, or your friends will perish. Uh, never! You have sealed their fate. Saurians, I give you... Monza Ram and his all-star warriors! What a treat! The Triceraton all-star team, led by our reigning champion, Monza Ram! Those four off-worlders don't stand a chance!
for a new leader! You'll never make it out of here! You'll be shot down like dogs! Sip it, windbag! You're our ticket out of here! Man, I sure hope they're all really fond of the San Ramon guy! Really, really fond! Four off-worlders have just taken our beloved Prime Leader San Ramon hostage! Drop the hardware, or your Prime Leader's lizard cutlets! Do... Do as he says. You know, it's not every day four off-worlders can bring the glorious Triceraton Empire straight to its knees. You really got to admire their spunk. So, what do you think, Sid? Will they call for a timeout and make demands? Or go straight for the win with a hostile overthrow of the regime? So what do we do now, fearless leader? I don't know. I'm trying to think through all that racket overhead. Well, you know, Raz, this is clutch time. The deciding moment of the... That help? Actually, yes. Okay, let's try this. Professor Honeycutt, take us to your lab. Prime Leader, you're coming with us. Everyone else stay put and don't move a muscle. Which way to the lab? Well, there are actually several routes. The Triceraton homeworld, with its interconnected network of asteroid cities, is a bit of a maze, really. Show us the fastest way, Spike. Now! As you wish. Didn't you? I got you fast right here! Mikey, give me a hand welding the doors and hatches shut. Don, help Professor Honeycutt gather up everything he needs to construct his teleportal. You got it! Uh-huh. Rap, you got guard duty. Yeah, whatever. Excuse me, Leonardo. You don't actually intend for me to build the teleportal, do you? It may be the only way to solve the problem. But if I'm captured, the knowledge will surely fall into the wrong hands. You can use it to transport yourself and the device somewhere the Federation and Triceratons can't follow. Like Earth, for instance. If you don't build the teleportal, we'll never get home to rescue Master Splinter. Yes, by all means, help your friends build the teleportal. You keep out of this. The danger will always exist, whether or not you build the teleportal. What's to stop them from ripping apart your robot body and downloading all the data from your brain? Slag! Why didn't I think of that? Good one, Don! I'm sorry. Yes, I see. I'm afraid the only sensible solution is to blast me into scrap metal <gasps> right now. Wait! Professor, I was just saying... I didn't mean... Please. You're our only hope. <sighs> all right. But you must promise me one thing. If all goes wrong, if it looks like we are to be captured, then you must destroy me, so that my knowledge will never be used for evil and destruction. It won't come to that. But if it does come to that, will you swear on your honor to destroy me? We swear. Where's the fastest ship out of here? Hmm. Now let me think. You four turtles and Professor Honeycutt will have to make your escape in my personal cruiser. It's in my private space dock hangar. You heard the Prime Leader. Get the strike team in position now! We'll be waiting for them. My ship is in the next bay.
Prime leader! What about a hostage? No time. Leave him! Prime leader, are you alright? Please forgive us! Slag brains! Stop them! Don't let them take my cruiser! Attention, Professor Honeycutt. This is Commander Mozar. Return at once to the Triceraton homeworld, or face the wrath of the Republic's fiercest warriors. Can't say I'm happy with our choices. What? They're blasting straight for us! They must be insane. After them! Oh my. And the really difficult part is just beginning. Hello, Professor Honeycutt. I believe you have something that belongs to me. Or should I say, you are something that belongs to me. Did you really think the Federation would give up its most valuable scientific mind without a fight? They want to fight? Let's show them where they can find one. I want that future toy alive, do you hear me? Alive! Yes, General. Mozart, what are your troops doing in this neutral sector? I could ask you the same question, General. You wouldn't be hunting down a certain fugitoid who recently escaped from your home world, would you? How did you know Honeycutt escaped? You think we don't get Triceraton gladiators on Dahunib? It's our number one rated show! Wait! How did you know the fugitoid is Honeycutt? Why don't you ask your trusted aide? Lone? Lone! Seize her! Commander Mozar, I order you to cease this unprovoked act of Triceraton aggression at once! I don't take orders from Federation Slime, General Blank. Commander, we have traced the warp vector pattern of the Fugitoid's cruiser to the Agarum sector. Troops are on their way to apprehend him now! Thank you, Commander Mozar, for your assistance in this matter. The Federation will handle it from here. None of the Triceratons get there first! General Blank, Commander Mozar. I am Leonardo of the planet Earth. I demand an immediate ceasefire. And why should we agree to your demand, Earthling? Because if you blow us up, you'll blow up Professor Honeycutt along with us. Then nobody gets the teleportal. However, we'll give up the Fugitoid for a price. We will? I'm trying to all stay for I'm Tay. But first, we'll, uh, need to broker a truce between the Federation and the Triceratons. We want assurances that neither side will use the teleportal technology for destructive purposes. Agreed. Huh? Wait! Don't you guys want to, like, argue about it some more? No. The Triceraton Republic is eager to settle this matter peacefully. Once we have the teleportal, we hit the Federation with everything we've got. The Federation is equally eager to avoid unnecessary conflict. Once we have the teleportal, we hit the Triceratons with everything we've got. Now, now bring us the Fugitoid! Uh, okay, but first we'll need to finalize your agreement. In writing, of course. That is, once we can determine a neutral meeting place mutually acceptable to both sides. Naturally, the Federation will require assurances of non-aggression from the Triceratons. Prepare to attack. We Triceratons have always honored our treaties. Prepare to attack. It is the Federation who must provide assurances of non-aggression. Are you accusing us of treachery, Lizard? You Federation slime didn't force 150 planets under your rule by acting honorably. Well, maybe if you Triceraton buffoons hadn't managed to blow up your own homeworld, you wouldn't be living on a bunch of floating rock fragments. Hairless ape! Overgrown Lizard! That fight is at 12 o'clock! This is an outrage! It just goes to prove the Federation can't be trusted! Ha! 
Tri Fighters at 12 o'clock. It seems the Triceratons aren't to be trusted either. Prime Leader, we have traced the transionic particle beam from the Fugitoid's teleportation. The final destination is the third planet from the sun. Excellent. Prepare for a full-scale invasion. We will crush the inhabitants of that world and claim the Fugitoid for the glory of the Triceraton Republic! <laughs> Fought long and hard in the war against our hated enemies, the Federation. Precious Triceraton blood has been spilt. Our glorious homeworld damaged in battle. But through our bravery and strength of arms, we forced the mighty Federation into retreat. Very soon, we shall strike at them in force and bathe ourselves in the sweet nectar of victory. Victory! 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 Our path to triumph is clear. We must recapture this fugitoid who holds in its circuitry the mind of Professor Honeycutt. His teleportal device shall provide us with the means to crush the Federation and rule the universe once and for all. The Fugitoid and his allies used the teleportal to escape us last time. But we have tracked the teleportal's transionic particle trail to the farthest corner of the T-17 galaxy, to an insignificant, watery, green-blue planet. Even if we must tear that pitiful world apart piece by piece, the Fugitoid will be ours. Begin the countdown! To victory! 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 The shield is in place, Prime Leader, and impenetrable to anything but our spacecraft. The Fugitoid cannot escape. Begin the invasion! To victory! Prime Leader, the resistance these worms offered was fierce, but ineffective. Fine. And where is the Fugitoid, Commander Mozar? <sighs> we haven't found him yet, sir, but we will. The hunt has begun. Inhabitants of this planet, you are now under my control and my command. I am Zan Raman. Prime Leader of the Great and Glorious Triceraton Republic. Here are demands. You will immediately surrender to us, Professor Honeycutt, a Fugitoid, or face annihilation. If you give us the Fugitoid, we may spare your pathetic lives. Deny us, and you will be destroyed. You have ten Trigons to comply. Commander Mozar, I grow impatient. Every moment we delay in getting our hands on the Fugitoid is a moment that could cost us dearly. We need the Fugitoid. I understand, Prime Leader, but the Earthlings continue to deny any knowledge of the Fugitoid whatsoever. They're lying. We trace the Fugitoid to this planet. He has to be here. Our contingency plan is already in motion. Our warriors have been rounding up any and all of the Earth creatures bearing a transionic residue. This means these Earthlings were in close proximity to the Fugitoid when he teleported to this planet. One of them is certain to have knowledge of him. They will share this knowledge with us willingly, or we will scan their brains and take what we need. Either way, the Fugitoid will be ours soon enough. Yes, excellent. Have the captives brought up at once. We just can't surrender! I will not be threatened! People of Earth, you have delayed too long in handing over the Fugitoid. Your time is up. Now, witness the consequences of inaction. Delay 
no longer, or we shall take your world apart piece by piece until nothing remains. Surrender the future toy or perish. All hail, Prime Leader Zanramon. Kneel before our great leader. Ah! You! Me? Finally, I can make you pay for your past crimes. Helping the Fugitoid escape. Abusing my royal personage by holding me hostage. Disgracing our honored warriors, the Triceraton All-Stars, and, and, and you stole my personal space cruiser! Did I do all that? Hmm. I always was an overachiever. Silence! Tell me where the Fugitoid is, and I may make your end a little less painful. Tell me! Where is that robot? I don't know! You defy me? No! The truth is, the Fugitoid's not on Earth anymore! He's gone! Long gone! No more lies! Ah. We know the Fugitoid is here! Tell us where he is or perish! Do you see? I have proof of your lies. We captured this Terrapin creature on your planet. A creature I last encountered on the far side of the galaxy, assisting the Fugitoid's escape from the Triceraton ah. authorities. His presence on your planet is proof that the Fugitoid is here. Give me the Fugitoid ah. now! Brained gecko? How many times do I have to tell you? The Fugitoid is not on Earth! Our brains may be small, Terrapin scum, uh. but our tracking equipment does not lie. Uh. The Fugitoid's teleportation trail leads directly to your planet. He was on Earth, but he's not there anymore! Then where is he? I... I can't tell you that! Can't? Or won't. Very well. We pea brain geckos will just have to extract the information from your oversized terrapin brain. Struggle all you want, fool. There is no resisting the Triceraton mind probe. Impossible! No one has ever resisted the Mind Probe! Clearly, the Earth creature has something to hide. But we have other methods of making him talk. I'll never tell you anything! Not even to save your miserable brothers? <gasps> oh, yes! We know they are in the same city where we apprehended you. Attention, people of Earth! Since you persist in your defiance by not giving up the Fugitoid, we will continue to remove your cities from the planet and take them apart bit by bit until we find him. Starting with this densely populated island metropolis. Your brothers are down there. Tell me where the Fugitoid is and I won't have them hunted down and destroyed. Look, my agents are closing in, but you need to handle the Triceratons. We had a deal, remember? Well, it's a little hard to hold up my end of the bargain when they're slicing New York off the face of the planet. Wait! Stop! I'm telling you, the Fugitoid is not on Earth! And why should we believe you? Can't you just scan for his positronic energy signature or something? <laughs> What kind of fools do you take us for? Positronic energy signatures are as common as space dust. Not on Earth. Our technology isn't advanced enough. What? Why was I not informed of this? Well, naturally we just assumed. We Triceratons assume nothing except victory. Initiate positronic energy scan now. Yes, Prime Leader.
This had better not be one of your terrapin tricks. A way to stall for time, perhaps, while your brothers commit some act of sabotage. My brothers? Are you kidding? They wouldn't be caught dead in this place. Prime Leader! Excuse the interruption, but these spies were caught attempting to take over a security post. Wouldn't be caught dead in this place, eh? Well, they have been caught! And now, they will be exterminated. You four will now answer for all the crimes you have committed against the Triceraton Republic. And don't think I've forgotten about my space cruiser. Excuse me, Prime Leader, but would it not be best to prolong their agony in your private torture chamber? Ah, excellent suggestion, guard. Make it so. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We've scanned half the planet, sir. Not one positronic energy signature. Maybe the Terrapin was telling the truth. No! The Fugitoid must be here! He has to be here! Sir, three Terrapin creatures, an unknown alien, and one of our own attacked us and stole my uniform. What? Seal off the base! Do not let those creatures escape! All units, full alert! All units, full alert! We have alien intruders. Commence tri-base lockdown immediately. I repeat, full alert. Prime Leader, the, uh, the, the Terrapin creatures have stolen your private space cruiser. Again. What? I just had it detailed. Don't just stand there. Destroy those creatures. And tell engineering to start building me a new cruiser. All combat pilots to your tri fighters immediately! All pilots to tri fighters immediately! Prime Leader, the, the tri fighters on this base have been sabotaged! Ah! Deploy the tri bases! I want those Terrapin terrorists vaporized! Do you hear me? Vaporized! Prime Leader, the planetary scan is complete. Negative on all positronic energy signatures. The Fugitoid is not on Earth? Then this entire invasion has been a colossal waste of time and resources. The High Council will not be pleased. I'm the High Council! Besides, I can still save face with the destruction of those Terrapin creatures. Ah. Why can't anything go right? Actually, sir, our planetary scan picked up another teleportation trail. One leading away from Earth. Apparently, the Fugitoid was on the planet briefly, then teleported off. Then, perhaps our search has not been in vain. Quickly! Plot a course to follow that trail at once! Alert all ships! We're leaving this miserable backwater planet! Activate Null Field. Prepare engines for full ion burn. Departure countdown initiated. Sir, incoming message marked urgent. Sir, it's the Fugitoid! What? By the horn of Hagalir, stop everything! Put it on screen! Prime Leader San Ramon. You have hunted me across galaxies and shown no mercy to those who stood in your way. This cannot continue. I am here on Earth to surrender myself to you and spare countless billions of lives. Pinpoint that transmission! Scramble all fighters! I want our troops down there immediately! Now, bring me that robot's metal hide. <laughs> Positronic energy readings grow stronger. This way. Hello, Triceratons! Over here! Hello there! Greetings, Professor Honeycutt. We've been looking for you for some time. I'm glad you found me. It saved me quite a walk. Get him! 
tribe leader will be quite pleased indeed. Professor, next time we say hide. Capture the professor unharmed! Follow the signal! Don't let them escape! Move out! You can run, professor, but you cannot hide. Here. He should be right. What? Four signals? I don't understand. Divide into units. Follow all four signals. Take the robot alive. And destroy anyone who gets in your way. It's on the ground. Or not. I don't know how you managed to confuse our scanners, but you will not live long enough to explain. I'll try and shake him while you work out a way to disguise that signal of yours. Right here. Oh, oh, oh. We have confirmation. The turtle creatures are in possession of the fugitoid, and the Triceratons are closing in. But countermeasures are in place. Rest assured, my friend. Both of us will get what we're after. You have my personal guarantee. down the Fugitoid back on the Hoonin. What's he want? Oh, right. Escort the professor to the lab Agent Bishop has so graciously provided us with. Yes, sir. All right, General. You have your robot. Our deal is concluded. Yes. The Federation thanks you and your government for the assistance. The Professor's teleportal device will finally be ours. And with it, the Federation will once and for all annihilate the accursed Triceratons. Our ultimate victory is at hand! Do as you will with the Terrapins. <laughs> no! Attention all Federation units. We have the Fugitoid. Commence Operation Broken Horn. Here? But that's impossible! Caught you with your horns down, didn't I, Zan Ramon? <sighs> There's nowhere to run this time. We Triceratons never run. We fight as we live, with honor and nobility. This is all your fault. Why did you not foresee this attack? But, Prime Leader... You ordered me to direct all our resources to search for the Fugitoid. Search no further. He's right here. What? No! Surrender now, or face certain destruction. We never surrender! 
Federation scum! We will fight to the last Triceraton! All ships, attack! This is General Black. We're done hiding, gentlemen. Deploy all Federation deep cover fighters! Blast the Triceraton scum to the far side of the galaxy! Tri-Gunners to battle stations! Prime shields to maximum power! Mozar, report! Yes, Prime Leader. The shields are back up to 90%. Our defenses Silence! are- Silence! The fate of our entire race depends on your efforts to find the future toid, and you have yet to bring me results. Prime Leader, there is a war raging around us. Don't you dare! Bring me results, Mozar, or by the Horn of Hagalir, I will see you disgraced and dishonored before a Triceraton firing squad. How close are we? All the connections are active, General. We should have full access momentarily. You should have known better than to try to hide from me. Your teleportal plans are mine, Professor. We're going to break you. No! No, please! Sir, I'm lowering our firewalls to give the mainframe full access. We've almost got it. Yes, we've done it. We're through. Defense protocols deactivated. Ah, perfect! We have full access to his database now, sir. With the designs for the teleportal in our hands, not only will we use it to completely destroy the Triceratons, but nothing will stop us from conquering half the known galaxies! Let the annihilation begin! Once the teleportal plans are ours, begin preparations to teleport explosives into the very heart of the Triceraton homeworld. Yes, sir. Um, sir, there seems to be a bit of a problem. What is it? The teleportal plans, they're, they're not here. Not here? Then, then where are they? I erased them. What? Before I returned to Earth, I knew you'd never believe me, so I needed to give you access to my memory so you could see for yourself that they're really gone. Now, if you'll excuse me... Sir, it's taking over our system. Shut it down! It's too late. He's locked us out. You've opened your entire mainframe to me. I'm inside the system. I am the system. As you should have remembered, General, I designed most of the Federation mainframe for you. No! Stop him! I'm sorry, General. I cannot allow you to disconnect me. Not just yet. Now I beg the Federation and Triceraton forces to hear me. The plans for the teleportal are gone. Sir, it's on all frequencies! Scan him, you idiots! Get those teleportal plans! I don't believe it! He's telling the truth! Mozar! Report! The teleportal plans are not with the Fugitroid! It's... it's some kind of Federation trick! All links with the Fugitoid's transmission and go to full alert! Yes, Prime Leader! Purge the Fugitoid signal from the system! Rebooting! Now! All ships! Defensive maneuvers! My work here is almost done. And so that you won't go away empty-handed, I do have one last gift. To ensure that you learn the ways of harmony, may peace prevail. Sir, he's uploaded a virus. It's overloading all of our systems. We can't let it spread to the fleet! Initiate base isolation sequence! Sir, I think... What? Report! Sir, I've shut down the power to stop the virus. The fleet reports no effects. It appears to have worked. 
I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Stop them! They're trying to allow the virus to infect the fleet! What's happening to them? Scout leader, report! Zerga! They're all completely powerless! Every last ship! The entire Federation fleet is... is defenseless! Awaiting orders, sir! <laughs> Hold your fire! What? Commander Mozar! Order your troops to attack immediately! The entire enemy fleet is helpless before us. Victory is at last within our grasp. There is no honor in attacking a defenseless enemy, Prime Leader. Huh? This is not about ethics, Mozar. This is about the complete and utter annihilation of our lifelong adversaries. Open fire! At once, Prime Leader. What? Huh? No! What's happening? It's spreading to our ships! Cut all contact with that squadron! But sir, we can't leave them stranded! Do as I say! Cut them off! Now! Safe, Prime Leader. Whatever infected the Federation and our scouts has not touched the rest of our fleet or the home world. Excellent. Now, ready the long range cannons. We'll blow the Federates out of the sky from here. We won't be carrying out that order, Zanramon, or any other dishonorable command you might care to give. Traximus, how did these traitors get in here? We walked. Now throw down your weapons. No. No! Open fire, guards! Blast them where they stand! What are you waiting for? Do it now! Mozart, do something! Can't you control your own men? Lower those weapons! It's over! What? What are you doing, Mozart? What is this? This is revolution! Revolution is usually what happens when the world needs to change. Keep away from me! My troops will be here any second! You'll all be destroyed! Not today, Blank. <laughs> Not ever. be a symbol of things to come. From this day forward, none shall sit upon the throne of the Triceratons. The Senate shall be reinstated and the Republic reborn. For too long, this senseless war has cost us our honor and the lives of our finest soldiers. Let a new age begin! Draximus. Our forces have completed the rescue efforts. The Federation troops are being brought onto the homeworld as we speak. We will treat them as allies and our guests until we deliver them safely to the Federation as our first gesture of peace. It will be done. There are but two prisoners that I must keep under lock and key. Perhaps they will also find a way to make peace. This Triceraton stench is more than I can stand! The only stench around here is your cowardice, Blank! You want a piece of me? Then bring it on, you stinking lizard, if you got the guts! I 
guess we ought to say something. I don't know what to say. Professor, I... I guess mainly I just want to say thanks. You were a good friend. <laughs>